G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the Fallout Katana. Now, this uh, weapon mod here was made by the same dude who did the battle stuff that I did a while back, and the Kenzai Katana along with that. And just like those weapons, this thing has a few interesting animations that make using this weapon actually uh, interesting and fun. Getting into the upgrades here, there's not really all that much. There's just a barbed and sharp upgrade for better damage and a legendary effect here if you feel like it, which would be very useful in uh, making this thing a lot stronger if you feel like it. But we'll leave that as non-legendary and we'll just simply get into Gunners Plus. From here, nothing more to say about this. Right, we're in Gunners Plaza, and here is the Fallout Katana. Now, this thing wrapped with duct tape around the grip there definitely makes this thing a little bit more law-friendly than the more pristine katanas that we've seen in the past. If I could just tilt the camera out if it wasn't broken. Hey, yeah, we'll get a look at some of the custom animations here. Obviously, this is a similar stance to the um, one we saw when we used the... Uh, that the stick a while back so that was kind of good anyways we'll just go ahead and get into these gunners and then we'll see what kind of other custom animations this thing has starting off with the first one okay we'll just pick them up and drop them instead and there we go an ultra one two punch there which is good we'll just block that gunner there and with a kick to the face and some more slashes there we go we've got this so yeah the forward attack um one of them is uh, just a kick in the air which is kind of good and um, it, you immediately follow it up with just a twirl in the air to uh, immediately close distance even more, which is good. So yeah, this is a very highly aggressive type of weapon, and we'll just knock her on her ass again. And down you go, mate. We've probably hit her a little bit too much. But we'll take out these turrets in bats because they are explosive, and they're staggering as bad. As you can tell, we're getting two attacks per bat uh, shot, which is good. And we'll charge into this one, do a little bit of a power attack there. And there's nothing too much to say about this power attack thing going on here that looks relatively tame. So we'll just kick her in the face, and that'll be it for her. Now, if you go ahead and attack whilst going sideways, you can do a whole Darth Maul kick where you just sort of jump to the side and kick him instead and um instead of kicking them it's probably a better idea to hit him with the blade Matilda so uh, yeah you might want to do that we'll just knock that dude on his ass and quickly finish him off like that now once they're on the ground like that it appears they just die a lot quicker maybe that's just a little bit of placebo but yeah that's an interesting little uh, thing that it's just sort of appeared to be anyway we'll just quickly get rid of that gunner yep she's definitely dead and there's no reason to use this thing in a stealthy way because it is hitting hard enough and we're getting enough of a run of our enemies to sort of uh, not warrant the use of that anyway so we'll just go ahead and kick her in the knee quick one two punch and another kick and now you're dead righto so how does this thing perform in bats? Pretty good, as you can tell you get a quite a bit of shots there and obviously for that 2 for 1 hit for in bats you'll do a whole lot of damage with this and yeah that would probably make it a lot, be a lot better with uh, the Furious spec too since you're actually shooting, oh hitting pretty fast sorry, not shooting, I'm being shot at but I'm not shooting myself all right so yep uh, one of these dudes had a minigun i really hope that's not irradiated because that'll actually mess up my day pretty bad and it was a mighty one you know what that's a pretty lame legendary for a minigun base damage on heavy weapons really doesn't do a lot because some of the base damage is not too great to begin with we'll just go ahead and cut that gunner's throat in that and then we'll get really mad because this guy shot us too much when we're going through the animation there which left us very vulnerable for a time, so I guess my anger there is sort of shared, even though I really don't care. This thing is obviously performing that well that I'm not really worried about being on such low health, so we'll just quickly finish that gunner off in first person, and you know what, we'll go ahead and kill the rest of them in first person. We haven't done a lot of first person fighting with this weapon, so... As you can tell there, with the running power attack, with the all of the uh, damage benefits we're getting out of Destroyer of Arcadia, and also Nerd Rage, we can one-shot these dudes. And with the... Wow, okay, that was 4200 damage from that power attack there, just from standing there. Man, this thing does a lot of damage. Question is, does that make it overpowered? I don't know, I'll let you decide. In the meantime, we're going to take a stim pack, and then we're going to do the regular old thing where we put the 
uh, weapon away and then turn the camera in and then explain what we're going to do next, which is going super mutant hunting. I believe this thing is quite up to the task of that, so let's get to it. Okay, time to test our Fallout Katana against some super mutants. Obviously, these guys are going to be very tanky as they are warlords, but I'm pretty sure this thing with some sneak attack criticals will make short work of these guys, so we'll just get them all lined up and we'll kill the both of them at the same time thanks to Big Leagues 4. And yeah, melee weapons in this game are completely, completely overpowered when you've got them with a stealth build, um, even more so than the uh, ranged weapons in this game because you can get up to 10 times damage on your targets and there's no reason why that bloke shouldn't have seen me, but he didn't anyway and I missed the uh, uh, damage uh, pop up there, but I'm pretty sure it'd be good anyway. Almost got detected there from careless sprinting, but I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. Even though they've detected us, I'm pretty sure we'll be fine still. And with a couple of quick slashes, that is one very dead super mutant. So we'll just pull away and get the next sort of, uh, get the most damage we possibly can out of Blitz. And we'll go for a critical there. Even though the attack seems to be better without using criticals, so yeah, that's interesting. And you know what, we'll try to kill this glowing mutant hound there. Unfortunately didn't get him and didn't get a uh, lucky sort of, uh, uh, what's it called? Mysterious Stranger? No, the uh, Grim Reaper Sprint to get our get all of our AP back, but we've got a few powered bits of uh, legendary gear on, so they'll come back pretty quick anyways. Righto, so now we just got to deal with all of these dudes in here, slipping out of danger, which is nice. Back in the caution, we'll just sneak up to these dudes and, uh, okay, they're too far away now, Let's see if we can't kill that guy up there. All right, we've got a shot on him, so we'll do that. And down here. No, this is a bad time for doing that. Just down here, we'll find just another super mutant. He's armed with a board. I think your melee weapon is a little bit outclassed, friend. And next up, all we need to do is just find ourselves all these super mutants that are over here. Can we bats chain this? No, we can't find that other guy just yet and looks like the pond in the middle of the uh, thing there has blocked our blitz but once we get out of it we're getting 7,000 damage on the sneak attack critical so yeah that'll pretty much drop anything that the vanilla game can throw at you even if they are tanky tanky warlord super mutants so we'll quickly get rid of this dude and then we'll sneak up on this bloke here no reason to use that down you go mate and with that 12 times damage, sorry I'm missing uh, Deacon's perk there, you can get 12 times damage on this, yeah that's overpowered as hell. But it's a melee weapon and we're playing Fallout 4 so you know what, Sneak is going to be overpowered, ooh that's a dead eye laser musket, that's actually pretty good. And dead doggos makes uh, this place clear, ooh a furious weapon, that's nice, wouldn't have it on a lead pipe though. So there you have it, that was the uh, Kensai Katana in both Gunners Plaza and in Felons where tanky tanky super mutants live and it performed well on both occasions, this thing ability to hit fast and do all the cool animations, there they are again and to the side, I'm going to show these off in slow motion in a second but yeah, all of these animations are really cool and definitely worth uh, your time if you want to go ahead and check this out. Anyways, we'll move on to a monster after I show off what these animations are like in that slow motion nonsense. Okay, thanks to the power of console commands, I can do this without having to slow down the video, so that's good. So, on the move now, and performing a normal attack, you'll do the spin kick. So, that's what it looks like in uh, slow motion, off to the side now, and the spin kick there. There you go, you kick him with both heels there, so it's kind of good. And around the other side is pretty much the same animation, but reversed. Very, very cool animations indeed. And definitely add in a lot of spice to your melee weapon uh, usage, because obviously the animations in the regular game aren't too good, but yeah, they're good now with these mods. Uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying using all of these Kenzai katanas and battle sticks and all of that. Anyway, on to Swan. Okie dokie, so there's Swan over there. Let's go ahead and uh, jam a um, katana into him and see how much damage it does, I guess. 
So I guess the question on everyone's minds right now, and by that I mean no one, is whether this thing is immersive and law friendly. And my answer is, who the hell cares? I play mods not for that. If I wanted to play this thing as immersively and uh, as law friendly as possible, I'd play it without mods. Now in terms of balance, as you can tell right there, if you wanted this to be a more balanced experience, you should probably just um, yeah, get into the creation kit and reduce the damage a little bit so you don't destroy creatures like that in a matter of seconds. But that's how just how Fallout 4 rolls with uh, overpowered sneak all the way. Anyways, we'll move on to one more monster and then we'll call it a day. Alrighty, so there's our old mate Wendigo Ghoul down there. We'll go ahead and take him out without the use of vats, see how far we can get. But if it hits the fan, we might as well use vats because obviously this thing is a melee weapon and better suited for vats. So as he's spazzing out there, we'll get nice and close and execute regular attack. And the quick one, two punch with the 12 times damage there does a lot of damage to him. And as he's coming around there, really think we could reach him from here, but we can't. We'll just quickly kill him. Now we're in danger. And okay, we'll try to do this. And we'll get a little bit of that distance on him. And then we'll build up some of these attacks there. And with these quick hits, there we go. We are doing quite a lot of damage to him, which is good. But we get immediately one-shotted, and this is why you want to use vats for melee weapons. Okay, we'll try this again, nice and simple. We'll just come out of the first-person camera, bring the camera around a bit, and move up nice and close, just around his legs, make sure we actually are able to hit. And one, two, three. He's staggered by the first couple of hits, so he doesn't come around. And we'll quickly just slip back into these bushes which don't really exist I guess but uh we've managed to avoid detection thus far it is raining so his perception is a little bit lower than usual and with more sneak attack criticals we've almost got him one more will do him in there we go and goodbye Mr. Ghoul you're a great annoyance to play against and um we actually have the option to eat his corpse there and I've opened up the level up manual there so we even get some victory music along this too. So if you'd like to see this weapon in your game be sure to check out the description below there shall be a link. I believe this one is only on PC but I could be wrong so if it is on Xbox One the link shall be down there too but I've only seen this mod on uh, PC unfortunately. Um, also, if you want to have some of the animations that are packed with this, I believe you're going to need some of the custom lightsaber animations, and the link to that will be in the description also, but you can also find it on the mod page on the Nexus, which is kind of good. Thank you for watching, guys.